Good day everyone. So in this video I want to demonstrate how I tested these A123 systems lithium iron phosphate cells. So on, as you'll note on the each end of the cells I've left the tabs attached to the cell. I just cut, cut them off using uh, tin snips. Now what's interesting, uh, usually uh, lithium uh, battery, batteries 18650s, the positive side would be on this end and the can exterior would be the negative but uh, interestingly these cells it's actually the opposite so you have to be very careful uh, when you connect up these batteries uh, the it's clearly indicated luckily here but uh, if it wasn't indicated I would automatically assume that it would be the same as lithium uh, ion batteries so that's quite interesting so in order to charge these batteries uh, these need to be charged to 3.6 volts uh, so in order to, to charge these batteries, I'm going to use these this DC to DC converter. Uh, so I'm going to set the voltage to 3.61, and the amperage I will set at 3. In order to uh, connect to these cells, I'm going to use these uh, leads that I've fashioned. Uh, with uh, these are magnets that came from uh, uh, hard drives. So the positive on the positive and the negative on the negative. So as you can see, it's indicating the cell voltage of 3.23. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. And it's currently charging. So let's let that charge up and once it's full I will go proceed with the test. Okay so as you can see the voltage is at 3.6 volts and the current is at 0 0.05 amps which is the recommended cutoff current. So we're ready to test this cell. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn this off. Okay so in order to test this cell I'll be using this little tester. Uh, it's a very simple uh, battery tester uh, I put a fan on it to cool the resistors that uh, in which the, the the current is dumped. So it just counts the amount of amp hours uh, that goes into the uh, the resistors. This cell holder I modified in order to be able to hold the uh, these the bigger batteries. So let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. Now I have to warn you: the fan has become noisy, which is a little bit annoying, but. As you can see, uh, 3.57, so the voltage has already gone down a bit from when it was charged. Um, so normally it would discharge to 2.5 volt, but I, for this cell we want to discharge all the way down to 2 volts. And then we hit OK. So that's going to go ahead and uh, perform the discharge. OK, so as you can see, the cell tested at eight, uh, 802 milliamp hour. Let's go ahead and unplug this because it's quite annoying. So, hence this is how I tested the uh, these batteries. Now just to compare, this is a standard 18650. So you can see it's, uh, it's quite a bit smaller, but it's the same length. These two cells actually have a pocket, when new it had a box, the same uh, capacity. Uh, I think this were 2.3 amp hour. And I think these were 2.5 amp hour, if I'm not mistaken. But these cells are designed for much higher discharge rate uh, when they're they're able to do sustain 600 amp hour continuous. And also, they're a much safer chemistry. So that's it for today. Hope you liked my video. Talk to you later.